it remains third down. It's all legal, but Bud Carson. On the field. Half the distance. Third down. You know that Bud Carson does not like it. Personnel is going to be out on the field for this third down play. A lot of football left to be played, and having a quarterback that is uh, bordering on a, a on a on a on a breakout on some sort of a, a confrontation with the officials is not really conducive to winning games. And just to follow up on that whole situation down at the goal line with the illegal formation, they did call up. They asked the replay official Tom Kelleher what he thought, and Kelleher said, "I can't substantiate it because it's not reviewable." So they had to take it back down to the field, according to Gallagher, and make their own decision. But they got it right the second time. Yep. If Cincinnati is going to stack the line against you, you have got to be more creative on first down. Not so hard. Meanwhile, there's another thing at oh, play here. Oh, he knocks it forward. The other thing at, at play, in play, is that the whistle had blown, indicating an incomplete pass. So the Browns could contend, hey, we didn't try to recover it. Because the whistle was blown. I think you're exactly right with that, Al. You know, meanwhile, that ball would have landed farther back because Leroy Horde actually got a hand on it and knocked it back forward. Yep. The ball belongs to the Browns on the 28 and a half yard line. It was a backward pass. If I'm not mistaken, he didn't Wilcox come up with the ball. A reversal of what? And then the ball had the whistle had to have been blown yeah. to kill the lateral. They're going to say the whistle blew, but the Browns still had possession of the ball back at the 28 and a half yard line. So technically what they're doing, they're giving them possession, but they're penalizing them the yardage. Carson wants to know what Bud Carson has come out onto the field and he wants a, a recount here. Well, either going to send a kicking team in if it's fourth or not. As far as I can recall here, it was first down on the backward pass. Then it was second down on the last play. Somebody's supposed to keep track of this, I think. Yeah. Count. <laughs> I mean, this is like high school. Well, this game was moving along rather rapidly until... The essential information is Cincinnati leads 17 to 3. I mean, we can only find the two plays after the long Mac run that gave the first down. The backward pass. They have just, I think they have sent down from upstairs the play-by-play -play sheet. They photograph each play, and that's what they sent down. They photograph each snap of the ball, I think that's what Bud Carson is pointing out. You know, off the play-by-play -play sheet, he's saying, hey, look at this. Well, one thing has to happen when you throw it to a back that comes all the way down the field, out of the backfield. You have got to have time to throw the football. At that time, the pass rush of the Bengals totally negated by the Browns. <laughs> he does not do it too gracefully. <laughs> you know, quarterbacks can forget the snap count just like anybody else, and that's what happened. Somebody called the yeah, somebody timeout. called the timeout here. Timeout was called by Cincinnati. They took the timeout on defense. I mean, if they run the ball, maybe got it down to the two-yard line or something like that, it's, it's something you'd have to think about. But well, certainly not after this. No, all options are gone after that sack. Correct from 31 he's made it from 21 and missed it from 41 Pagel puts it down and the Browns wind up with three yep that's that, exactly what they're saying that's what Bud Carson just told his team and Kozar thinking that he was still in his vicinity turns to call a timeout and finds out that McAwee's about five yards downfield as he should be following yeah. the play Randall Cunningham could have saved three or four seconds by getting the McAwee a little quicker. Too bad. <laughs> but he can't play quarterback like Bernie Kozar. <laughs> nor can he bank like Bernie Kozar. No. Michael Dean. <laughs> <laughs> He's everything his brother hasn't become. Well, yes. I mean, this catch was better than the last yep. one. I mean, this catch, the ball's out in front of him. 
And, I mean, we're going to see a guy horizontal to the ground making a catch out in front of him. Didn't surprise us because in Denver, he was the hero of that game, pulling it out late. Look. Boy, with Mack leading. And he's in for the touchdown. Mack did his job, too. Yeah. This could change in our direction of this game. And that's the most determined run Leroy Horde has made in a long time because he gets hit right at the one-yard line. He gets stuffed right in the hole by Kevin Walker, and he takes Kevin Walker right into the end zone, a la what we saw Bo Jackson do to the Boz a couple years ago. Watch this. Watch number 59, Walker. Wham! Right on the one-yard line, and Leroy Horde takes him into the end zone. A block by Mack oh. ahead of it. Boric for the extra point. Different ball game. That's a pretty good first half, folks. Come up with the best drive of their season so far. With Horrid. the exception of the one that won the game in Denver. Horrid <laughs> stuns Kevin Walker. And that is highlight film stuff. Brennan and Horrid. Back we come with halftime activities after this message from the NFL and a word from our ABC station. Another bad throw by Bernie. That one he tried to sneak in, and no way that they could not see Xander. He just was, has enough confidence that he tried to force it. No. No, Thane Gash comes up with that, I'm afraid, well after the play. Mm -hmm. I think we will see the yep. Cincinnati offense back out on the field. We'll see uh, a happy Sam White for now. Lost in all of that was the block by Ken Moyer, the trap block, a good one to bring Taylor into that secondary. Nobody even touched him. You know, that's a that's a situation where an official finds himself in where he, he you know, maybe he's screened for just a second, and the first thing he sees is the ball out on the ground. I mean, he almost has to rule it a fumble. But I think you can see right there that Taylor mm -hmm. has possession of the ball until he hits the ground and that's where you invoke the old mm -hmm. the ground can't cause a fumble cliche. And uh, when we have the reversal, which we expect it'll be first and goal. I think it's beyond a doubt that it will be reversed. Sam White seems to think so. He's already he's calling play. Yeah. <laughs> to, to get my defense off the field. You've got two offensive units on the field right now. Yeah, well the ones in brown better come up. We have a reversal. The ball goes back to Cincinnati. The man is down. The man is down. Wide open, but Leon White was in the face of Bernie Kozark. Landing the ball. One of the most popular players ever to wear a Cleveland Brown uniform is Ozzie Newsom. 